the whole process of Rush. And I'm going to take you through it and give you some tips. I'm wearing this dress that I got from Macy's. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking to you about the rush process at the University of Alabama And I'm so excited for any of you that are rushing and watching this video I can't wait for you to go through this process and one thing I want to say is I'm so sorry that I'm posting this right before no contact period Which is May 1st and it's just because my mom just had open-heart surgery And so I've been spending as much time as possible with her because we cannot visit her in the hospital right now because of the coronavirus so yeah, right now I'm doing the video just to put it out there. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know before May 1st. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video with all these tips and tricks. So the first thing I want to talk about is some advice I have from going through Rush. And my first piece of advice is to be yourself. These girls want to see you for who you are, not what you can put on as a, like a show. And they're super excited to meet you. They were just like you, very nervous and excited about this whole process. And being yourself can get you into the house that really is meant for you. And the next thing I have is to trust the process. Many times during this, you're going to be very discouraged with maybe not getting a full house, with getting all the houses, or houses that you thought liked you or dropping you. And so just don't let that discourage you. Just trust the process because in the end, you're going to get the house you want and you're gonna love it in every second of it. The third thing is to make sure to keep doing conversations in the house because sometimes there may be a little awkward pauses. Try to keep it going, talk about the process, or just talk about the house, anything you can think of. The next thing I have is to take notes. I always took notes in my phone on the notes app and I just wrote down sorority, their philanthropy, and their Greek letters just so I knew exactly what I was doing and what happened. So I just wrote it right after every single house the next thing is to make sure to have outfits and have them ready for you. Make sure to have your outfits ready because you don't want to forget anything and make sure to have backup dresses or backup shoes if your shoes were to break, anything. So just be prepared. Next thing, pack a bag and that is because you're going to be walking around so bring flip flops, have snacks, water, ice packs, anything you can think of to make sure you do not get dehydrated or anything during this and my next thing i have for you is to don't look up the house oh my gosh i didn't even notice these stick things okay the next thing is do not look up the houses before going to them many people put false information about houses or they may have had just not the best experience but say in a different way and you just don't want it to be um, jeopardizing what you're going in to see the house. It's such a fun process, kind of crazy, but it's just so much fun. You meet so many people. You'll meet girls that you'll have classes with, maybe just see around campus, and some girls in your Rokai group may even end up in your sorority. So it's just a great way to meet people and just to see the university. And it's I loved it and bid day is something I will never forget. It was so much fun. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is some terms that people use at, well, some terms people use during rush. And so the first term is active and active is somebody who is a sorority member currently in college who has been initiated formally by their chapter. Next is alumni, an initiated member who is no longer an active but still was initiated by their chapter. Bid is a formal invitation to join a sorority. PNM, a potential new member, which is you guys and all of you rushing. Legacy is a PNM's whose mother or sister is an alumni or an active member in a particular sorority. And continuous open bidding, which other people call COB, is the period in which a collegiate chapter does not have the allowable mem number of members and they need more people to join so that's later in the semester and you can join through that process okay and lastly a rokai which is a non-affiliated member that ask advice 
or if you need to rant about anything they're just there for you and they will have no opinion on any sorority or any or their sorority that they are in so the next thing i want to talk to you about is the whole process of rush and i'm going to take you through it and give you some tips and what i wore and everything so the first day is convocation and this day you go to coleman coliseum which is our multi-purpose arena at the school and you go there you find your rokai group and you can find your rokai group by knowing where your last name would fit because mine i'm sweaty so i'm an s so i knew i was more towards the end and so i was up at the top more all the people that are lower in the alphabet or beginning of the alphabet or towards the bottom of the arena closer to the stage so i was thinking i'm like around the 20s or so and i found out that my group was 22 and then from there i found my name tag and sat down and i got two t-shirts which i'll be showing you in a second um my name tag in a greek chic which is the booklet that has all the information for the entirety of rush and also where you can put notes during each of the houses if you want to do that on vacation is also it's earlier in the morning like 9 a.m or so and so we did that at 9 a.m we sat with our group met our rogue highs and then after that the panhellenic executive council came and talked to us just to give us some advice and just told us how the process was going to go and how you should feel during it this is the exciting part this is when rush actually begins so the first two rounds of rush are open house and those are the days where you travel with your rokai group and everybody in well my group 22 and we traveled to each individual house in the two days to see what they had to offer and it was about like a 10 minute conversation with each of the girls and um, every morning you go to the same home base and my home base is tried out and so we would go there 8 a.m to meet up and then go throughout the day so that was very exciting i will and here are so for open house round you just wear simple dresses like ones that you would wear to church or any like fancy event and i will show you my dresses so for the first day i wore this one and, and I'm gonna put a picture of what it looked like on me. And the second day of open house, I wore this one. Looks weird on this hanger, but I will also put in a picture. But yeah, they were just nice and simple dresses. And I wore sandals with those and my Tiffany necklace and then just pearl earrings, very simple. Also during this day, we go to lunch with our Rokai groups on both of the days. Then after the whole two days of open house round, we head with our Rokai groups to Brian Denny Stadium where we go and vote. And so for voting, you have 17 slots. 12 of them are gonna be number ones, which are gonna put all the houses that you liked or that you vibed with. And then underneath that is gonna be two through six. And those ones de actually depend on the order that you place them. So all the number ones doesn't matter any order if you put one as number one it doesn't mean that's your top 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 one but number two through six you need to have it in an order because your one and number two if they like you but one of your number one spots didn't want you in their ha in their sorority then they would switch so you need to make sure you place those in a specific order that you want them that you could probably if you were to be chosen in them could see yourself there so just keep that in mind when voting. Another thing I would like to add with voting is that the next day you should be receiving 12 or less houses and do not be discouraged if you do not get 12 houses. So the next two days are philanthropy round and this is a round where you go in for 20 minutes or so and you go talk to the sorority about their philanthropy and what they do in the community. And in my opinion, that was my favorite um, round because I just loved learning about their philanthropy and how they all serve in the community and it just made me really happy and this is my sorority philanthropy service for sight and i loved learning about it they also wore this shirt during philanthropy around funny but yeah it was just a great way to see how much they care and love their community all of the sororities okay so for philanthropy round these are the outfits we wore i'll insert pictures too but i have this shirt it was just a white shirt and then in the back it had just each sorority and Polaroids. It was super, super cute. And then I wore shorts with them and these are the shorts I wore. 
And here's a picture of me wearing the outfit. Next, I had this shirt, and then I wore these shorts with it. And then I just wore sandals and the same jewelry. I wore my Tiffany necklace. Sorry, these are strings from my fan and white. Um, and remember for each round you go and meet with your Rokai group at your meeting location but this is the first time with the round that you go by yourself so I would have a map and they always have a map in the Greek chic so if you want to use that you can but yeah you will be on your own but there are people that are there to help you get through this just make sure to be on time to your house because you do not want to miss it at all that would be awful and so for philanthropy round for me, I had three houses the first day and eight houses the second day. So for the first day, I didn't start until probably like two or three o'clock. And so I just met with my Rokai's at 8 a.m. And I looked at my schedule, gave them back the lanyard, and then headed back to Tut because I was able to do that with how close I am. But if you live in a um, dorm that's like Prez, Lakeside, Riverside. You have to have a very big gap of a break to actually go back to your dorm room. And if you are going to choose to do that, then you need to make sure to talk to your Rokai so you are able to go and they know that you have pretty much left sorority row. Okay, so yeah, and then the second day, met them at 8 a.m. and I had pretty much houses all of that one day because I had eight houses that day. Um, so that gave me a total of 11 houses in philanthropy round, so that was awesome. And so, yeah, and then after the two days, I headed to Brian Denny to vote, and it's the same voting process as before, except the number one spots, there's only seven, and then there is the two to six again at the bottom, so make sure to rank your two to six in hierarchy of how you would want them if they were to show up on your card the next day. So in the end of all the voting, you should have seven number one spots and then two to six. And so in the end, you will probably have seven or less houses. After that, the next two days are sisterhood round. And this is where you dress fancier and you get to talk to the girls for 30 minutes this time and you just get to learn about their sisterhood. A lot of people did get emotional during this one. Um, and it's just a great way to see how the girls connect with each other and how you can be a part of this sisterhood. So for my first outfit of that, I wore this green dress. I will be putting in a picture again. But I wore this green dress with these high heel shoes. And so here's a picture of me in that outfit. Next, I wore this dress. And this is my second day dress. And I also wore the same shoes with that. And here's a picture of me in the dress. Those were both of the dresses I had. They were more like business casual. And it's great to have them because if I ever have a business interview or anything, I can use these dresses, which works out perfectly. So I did that, went through sisterhood. This is a day you should probably have flip flops in your bag because if you have high heels or ones that are giving you blisters, anything, have band-aids and have flip flops to change into just so then you can make it through the day and you know it's 30 minutes you push through some houses you get to sit so that's very nice when you get to sit but yeah just push through and then you can change your shoes right after too if you need to run to another house or if you just want to wear relaxing shoes so after this day you're going to be voting again and this time it's going to be two spots of number one and then two to six and so this is a very big day because well prep is bigger but this is a very big day to really die down your options on what you want and so you really got to know you got to have your two number ones picked of the ones you really want and then number two you got to also really want that one too it may not be as much as the other two but you want it to be the one that if you were to get it or have it end up on prep you want that you would be fine having that house so just make sure with that. Yeah, on this day, I actually had two houses on the first day and five on the second day. So I didn't start until four o'clock on the first day, which was nice. I relaxed. I um, watched some movies. I just like took it in, looked over my notes to make sure to see which houses I wanted to look out for. But it was good. I got to relax. And then the second day, I had pretty much five in a row 
so that was kind of crazy but it was so good because the first day I had a rest but this just comes to show that you never know what your schedule is going to be you may have one one day and the rest the other you may have half and half you just don't know be ready for anything they um, throw at you with your schedule. It's very exciting though just being spontaneous with everything But yeah, just be ready and Mentally ready and everything because it's a crazy week if You need any help with voting on this day because I know it's a little stressful with the two picks and everything You can go talk to your Rokai just to like if you need to let off any steam make sure to talk to them if you're freaking out about voting they're just a good way to talk to somebody but yeah just always talk to your rokai if needed because sometimes you just got to talk to somebody you know zip we made it to the last round of sorority rush and this is prep day and this is when you're going to be in the house for about 40 minutes or so it can be a very emotional time because a lot of people this is the time where you really see if this is the sorority for you and so um, I remember being in um, one of the houses, actually I was in, I just remember like people hearing stories that when they were in houses they were crying because they really could see that this was the sorority for them. And I think that's amazing that they were able to figure that out right then and there. So yeah, with Pref, you wear your fanciest dress. I wore one of my fancier business dresses. And so this is the dress I had, it was pink. And I wore my fancier heels with it. They're very high heels, so I brought flip flops to change into if needed. But these are my high heels. And this day you can either have two or one houses. So you may just have to visit one, you may have to visit two. And I visited two, so it was a very difficult decision. And I remember them being pretty much one after the other. So I really had to know which one I was wanting. And so, yeah, it was a crazy day, but it was exciting. So this is the day after all of this and them performing their ceremonies, you can go to Brian Denny, and this is where you go to vote for the last time, and you're gonna put a number one spot and a number two. And so for this one, you need to make sure you have the one that you want as your number one at your number one spot. And so you put that one there and your second one down. Be And number one and your second one. And sometimes your number one may not choose you, so your second one will move up. And some people, when they have two houses and they know that they have the one that they want and they want it as their number one, they do a thing called suicide bid. And so that is where you put your number one, but you do not put a number two. And that's a suicide because your number one, you may think it's really for you, but they may not choose you in the end. So you will not end up with a bid. So. I don't recommend doing it, but if you really think that your sorority that you want as your number one is for you, maybe you can do it, but I think it's too scary and don't fully, uh, I don't know, it's just scary. But yeah, this is just the day where you really gotta think and know which one you wanna be in because the next day is bid day and that's the most exciting day ever. And I can't wait for you all to go through bid day. It is so much fun. From the, if you guys seen videos, I'm pretty sure you have all been watching the YouTube videos of everybody's bid day or seen pictures, and it is pretty much like that. And it is very hot that day, so I recommend wearing a sports bra because you're going to be running. You don't know how far you're running because you have two houses that you possibly be, and um, so you just you never know where you're going to be running. But have a sports bra, tank top, workout shorts, and tennis shoes because you are running that day and it is so much fun and you wanna make sure you make it. And try to be hydrated before because you do sit in Brian Denny for a while and then you get to open your bids. But I don't wanna like spoil anything else, but just make sure to be hydrated with everything and you're gonna run home to your sisters and it's gonna be so much fun and you're gonna love every second of it and remember it all the time and it's just so much fun. And then after that you find out if you are going on a retreat and where you're going and it is super exciting but enough said with that because i don't want to ruin it for all of you because it is a day you, i want you all to experience and have so much fun with so yeah thank you so much for watching my video again so sorry that it's right before the no contact period but i wanted to get this out there just so you guys can get some advice on anything but feel free to let me know if you have any questions before may 1st 
but thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing time with Rush. Keep me updated with everything. And I can't wait to see all of your memories and um, get new sisters. And yeah, thank you so much. Bye.